agriculture. The vision was having a machine driving itself robotically, row after row, making the turns, holding the speed at certain speeds that we want it set at very consistently. That's the vision, was something more consistent, more precise than what we were able to offer with somebody driving a tractor. Everybody's living with technology. This takes that technology to the next step. It's fully automated, no human beings involved on the machine itself. Just a matter of somebody overseeing and monitoring what that machine is doing. Our business environment has become much more difficult when it comes to labor year after year. It becomes more expensive, more challenging to find employees. Gus is gonna solve that problem. You're gonna have a single operator in a control van that will operate or monitor roughly four to eight machines at a time. More efficient, a lot less stopped in downtime. The machine will keep moving through the field whereas a operator would tend to not be as efficient. The application is applied in a very exact manner. Materials are very expensive. Fertilizers, those kinds of things are very expensive. This machine will apply it exactly to the rate that we want it applied. We'll also be able to provide a data file to the grower. That data file will show the grower exactly where the crop was sprayed, where it wasn't sprayed, what it was sprayed with, the timing it was sprayed, the dates, everything. So Gus is really designed for mid to large scale farming operations. Mainly crop wise, we're talking trees. So we've got almonds, our walnuts, pistachios. We can get into grape, tree fruit, oranges, lemons, types of citrus as well. And it's very streamlined design and that's to keep it from knocking fruit off the trees and you know damaging the trees so that we can get through there not ruin any of the crop. For the real innovation is all the electronics that are on it. It has front and rear steering. It has about a 17 foot turn radius, which for a vehicle this size is very small. The van operator, uh, they have a constant camera view of what's going on in front of the sprayer so they can pull it up at any time. We have a laser on there so if it sees a person or an object in front of it, it'll stop about four feet in front of it. There's a second layer of safety that's hardwired in where if someone presses the bumper, it'll shut down. But whenever we're building our maps of all the rows in the field, we also build a border around it. So if that vehicle, for whatever reason, it gets out of control, if it crosses that line, it's just gonna shut the whole thing down. Everything is all custom built. We have CAD drawings. We rely heavily on our new CNC plasma table. Everything's computer cut within really tight tolerances. When you design a piece of equipment, you gotta make it easy to work on, easy to maintain. You gotta make sure when you're doing oil changes, oil filters easy to get to, fuel filters are easy to get to. What we're trying to do and what we have done is have a situation where we can actually offer better jobs, higher paying jobs, and use automation to do a better job. Our vision is fleets of these machines in the orchards with the grower being able to monitor exactly what is being put on in a very safe manner, in a precise manner. It's never been done like this before.